before the very first episode of TechSpark TV, we follow a group of London-based entrepreneurs on a day trip to Bristol. Well, this is the very beginning of London to Bristol. We're at Paddington Station about to depart and London to Bristol is a one day event for a great group of London based entrepreneurs and innovators to really immerse themselves in all the brilliant things that Bristol has to offer. Ollie is joined by 20 other London based entrepreneurs who have all come to find out why Bristol and Bath is the second largest tech cluster outside of London. First stop is the engine shed, home to Setsquid, but also really the centre for all things tech in Bristol. I'm falling in love with Bristol, so, um, so from an emotional point of view, there is something, there is something magical about it. Um, it feels like a university city in terms of the buildings, the atmosphere, the, um, the dynamism. Next stop is the watershed where the pervasive media studio is mixing up culture with technology and creativity. A lot of people talk about this cross-pollination uh, cross between industries, sharing of ideas, and that was completely embodied, I felt, at Watershed and the pervasive media studio. And I think sometimes in London we talk about that, we don't see it embodied as much. And this is where two projects really capture the imagination of these entrepreneurs. The first is a technology so light and so small that allows every single person in the world to have their very own space rocket. And the second will see all the cranes in Zone 1 lit up and dancing to the same soundtrack broadcast on radio. I have a huge, different view of Bath and Bristol from this afternoon and today. It's been, um, it's been uh, honestly mind blowing, like, quite literally. Um, I am slightly kind of kicking myself in a way of why I scuttled away and ran to London. Next is a visit to Just Eat's new offices to find out why they chose Bristol to base their new development centre. The real thing that struck me, particularly visiting Just Eat, was this idea of a real giant growing so fast and yet taking time to give back, mm. sort of water the grassroots and be supportive, host events, share what they've known. And actually that has far more that reminds me of what I've seen in San Francisco than it does in what I've seen in London. From a business perspective, I really feel there is something unique about it, now I get it. So it's about this, um, I guess, fusion between creative and technology, um, this sense of community. And it's with that sense of community that we end the day with drinks at Desk Lodge, the brand new co-working space in the city centre. And at the end of the day, what I want to know is, has one of these London entrepreneurs seen enough to decide to set up in Bristol? I have a hardware company, so the hardware side of it is really interesting to me as well. There's some amazing companies here, some amazing expertise and some amazing engineers, and um, the potential of having an R&D unit in Bristol would be, would be appealing.